conference. And as our second panel starts to move along, uh, Mr. Bishop, if you have one quick question, uh, uh, we'll let you do forward. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate your courtesy and uh, you and the ranking member, your fairness in this process. I appreciate that. I have just a couple of quick questions from. You got, you got one quick board. question here. We got, we, we got to get on to the next panel. Sorry. Okay, let me go with the one quick question from General Bolden. And we've got a quick meeting like this, but there's only one way that's going to happen. There is almost an urban legend coming out of NASA and from you and press clips as to the cost of the Ares rocket. You have uh, received a letter from one of your fellow travelers, Charlie Precourt. The challenge is that number saying the actual cost is about half of what you're talking about, and subsequent flights would be as in the range of $60 million. Question I have is, have you seen that letter, a response to it, and also, were you, when you come up with your calculations, re realizing that in the defense authorization bill, the language will state that defense officials have estimated that the, that the cost of propulsion systems could increase 40 to 100 percent because of infrastructure costs currently shared by the Department of Defense and NASA, and they would be passed on to the Department of Defense. Finally, the committee believes that the health and long-term viability of the solid rocket motor industrial base is a government-wide challenge. Am I correct on the assumption that the potential cost to defense by the change in the program that NASA is recommending was not part of the original cost estimates for what Ares, Ares 1 or Ares 5 would be? So have you seen the letter? I think I have seen the letter to which you refer from Charlie Precourt. Has there been a response to I his analysis? I will have to find out, sir. I don't think we have responded to his letter yet. Was but the I cost will... to the defense system that will be shared by taxpayers part of the original analysis of cost for running Ares? Congressman, I will have to get back to you on that. I, I don't know the answer to that. I, can I help if I give you the answer? You can. No. All right. Okay. I... And, and with that, I do appreciate it. Sometime I just want to talk to you about this guy. This is the face of the people who is celebrating his one week firing from this process. And I hope that at some time I can tell him that loss of his job was because either the government was going to save money or come up with a program that was safer for astronauts or it was in the public good or the exigencies of the, of the struggle, not simply because we decided to pick winners or losers within the free market system. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Bishop I and Mr. Bolden. Thank you for your last two hours. Uh, we've Thank enjoyed you. being with you. I hope you have enjoyed being with us. Congressman, I have. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the opportunity to address this committee and, and hear your concern. Well, you're going to get another opportunity? Yes, sir. Uh, and you are excused. <laughs> and uh, we will move now to our second panel.